everyone. Thanks so much for joining me. You know, I wanted to share with you my 10 steps to prevent cancer. And that's also 10 steps to treat cancer if you're doing it holistically. Um, so number one, I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. Number one is the diet. We want to do a fresh whole foods diet, which means basically it needs to be home prepared. And a lot of information is on the internet about this um, on my website too under nutrition. But um, a raw diet or a, um, a, I should say a raw well-balanced diet or a cooked meat and raw vegetable diet, we like to have 75% meat, organ meats, bone, and we like to have 25%, and that's a rough estimate. There's a whole percentage thing that works for that, but 25% raw detoxifying greens. And so those are greens like parsley, cilantro, um, kale, and uh, fennel bulb, um, dandelion greens, and you grind them up in a food processor and then you can freeze them with a little bit of pumpkin in your freezer and, um, and you can add it to the dog's food. So there was a study in 2005 that showed that um, doing, giving the dog greens um, three times a week helped reduce cancers by 50%. And in particular, they were talking about transitional cell carcinomas. So that's the type of cancer that we're, we're gonna be talking about today with a little dog named Raven. My second um, bit of advice is to do is to make sure we add some trace minerals, in particular zinc and selenium. So we use a dose of five milligrams of zinc per 40 pounds of body weight per day. And we use a dose of 50 MCGs, micrograms of selenium, per 40 pounds of body weight. You can overdose these two minerals, so you wanna make sure that you add some, but not too much. <laughs> and you can work with a holistic bed on this too. My third step is um, single protein treats. So that could be steamed cauliflower, um, so a bit of steamed vegetable. It could also be something from Boulder Dog Food Company or Fresh is Best. It could be something that you home prepare, like a little bit of organic liver that you bake. Um, so we're looking at single protein treats. We want to avoid things like vegetable glycerin, citric, um, citric acid, and molasses in our treats. We want to avoid sugars and carbohydrates in the diet as much as we can. Um, let's see, my fourth step is vitamin A. We want to make sure that we give the, the pet a great source of vitamin A. And one of the best sources really is um, cod liver oil if it's, if it's certified um, lead-free or mercury-free. Um, so vitamin A at a dose of 5,000 I use per 40 pounds of body weight per day. And again, too much vitamin A can impact the liver negatively, so we have to be careful about that. But vitamin A helps force the cells to differentiate. It's one of our excellent anti-cancer allies. Number five is using um, uh, immune mod modulating mushrooms. So um, we usually use a dose of 500 milligrams per 40 pounds of body weight for preventative, and then we go up from there. So those are things like um, uh, five defenders from realmushrooms.com. We have our own here at the clinic, but we rotate turkey tail, especially for carcinomas, um, grifolia or maitake. We use shiitake, we use reishi, especially for liver cancer. And there's a lot to know about mushrooms and treating them holistically, but basically the short version is you can use mushrooms to strengthen um, the natural killer cells and strengthen the cell-mediated immunity. So number six, I think we're on six, is, is other herbs for strengthening the immunity. Herbs like astragalus, ashwagandha, cat's claw, paude arco. These are all herbs in our immune formula that <clears throat> is amazing, but there's other great immune strengthening formulas too. Um, let's see. Number seven is vaccinations. Um, we want to try to do minimal vaccinations, try to detox the ones. Um, so in other words, give the animal a, a vaccinosis protocol. So Thuya Occidentalis 30C, um, homeopathics after vaccines. And um, we love the product Vivo Zeoclear to detox the dog or cat after vaccinations. Um, let me see, eight. Eight is using a holistic approach to treat the animal's problems. So if the dog or cat comes in with a sore back or sore hips, we'd rather use acupuncture or chiropractic to treat that rather than using pharmaceuticals right off the bat, which can cause pharmaceutical pressure 
um, on our liver and kidneys. We want to treat the liver and kidneys as happy and healthy as we can, which means redu reducing the pharmaceutical load on them. Sometimes pharmaceuticals can save a pet, and some, so I'm not saying they're always bad, but if there's an option, especially for treating pain, that's the way to go. Um, number nine is to reduce chemicals. So let's see if we can use like, you know, seventh generation or clean cleaning products for our laundry soap. Laundry soap's a huge problem for pets. It's getting more and more toxic. You don't want it to be like stinging your eyes <laughs> like it does. For me, I have a little insensitivity to people's laundry soap these days. So anyway, natural, um, a natural approach to lawn care. Um, there's the Washington Toxics Coalition which is an amazing uh, resource to look up chemicals and what they're doing to the animals and to people and to children. Um, there are 70,000 of them floating around that are potentially, they're untested. So um, I guess we're the guinea pig on the chemical front, but you can learn what you can. Washington's Toxics Coalition and the Pesticide Alert Network. Number 10 is freedom for the animal, freedom of movement, exercise, um, play, uh, engagement, things like nose work, scent work, a um, little bit of off-leash time, uh, interacting with the pet. Turn the computer off. I know you're on it right now, but generally turn it off, interact with the pet. And you can tell that all day that dogs and cats are trying to get us to do that, is get off our devices <laughs> and interact, because that's what they want to do. Play and and cuddle and, and um, all of those things are tactile, sensory, really excellent for keeping the pet engaged. So that's my 10 steps to prevent cancer. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna talk about a very specific case, a uh, raven, a little skipper key that's gone a, over a year with a transitional cell carcinoma, no surgery, no pharmaceuticals, just herbal approach. And we're gonna talk about that case here in a jiffy. Thanks so much for joining us.